What is a Hoffman apparatus and why do you need one? What experiments can you run if you have a Hoffman apparatus? So this is the Hoffman apparatus, a little bit modified to uh, from what you get in the box. What I've done is, as you can see, there's two spark plugs here and here, just regular old spark plugs. And I put the, I put silicon uh, bathtub sealant around them and just ease them into the tubes and I'll let it cure. I flip this whole thing upside down um, and just ease the spark plugs in, turn them a little bit to get the uh, sealant uh, uniformly smeared in the tube and just let it cure overnight. That's all I did. So now we have this and so you notice that it's sealed now. It's not dripping out. It's not a big mess. Nothing like that. Um, this here is the power supply. I wonder if I can get this in the image or not. So this power supply, everything you need to know about is in another video. I'll place the link here. So we've got the, the positive and the negative hooked up. This is a DC power supply. This is not AC. We're just doing DC for explaining to you what a Hoffman apparatus is. Okay? So the only thing we do is we set the volts to zero. Turn it on. has a nice satisfying thud when it all turns on. So I want you to watch closely to these electrodes as I fire it up. Increase the voltage up to 13 volts. And you will see the hydrogen expressed out of the water. In other words, the water molecule itself is ripped apart because of electricity and it turns into hydrogen and oxygen. Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. H2O. And this tube over here will have the hydrogen because you'll see twice as many bubbles. This will have the oxygen. And uh, it will start filtering up. So let's turn it on. Watch real close. And there it is. Split tearing the water apart with just DC electricity. Direct current. And as the bubbles go up, leave the, the transducers and go up to the top of the apparatus, you can either have the stopcocks open or closed. Open, it just vents it all to your uh, air, air, lab air. And at this volume, it's not really a danger because hydrogen absorbs really well into the air. It'll find a stray oxygen molecule and make uh, water vapor. Same thing with in the oxygen, it'll just be free floating oxygen that'll probably bond to something else, uh, carbon or, or something else in, in your air around you, or just be free floating. But this, this does not produce dangerous levels of, hydro, of uh, hydrogen or oxygen at, with this little machine here. It, it just won't. You can also close the stopcocks. You can close the stopcocks and it'll trap the hydrogen in this tube. As I showed you earlier, it's graduated. You can probably see it a little bit better now, the graduations. And you can measure it over time how much hydrogen or oxygen you're making depending on what your setup is. Do you, in your lab uh, results, do you get more gas per kilowatt with DC? Or will you get more with AC? Will you get more with pulsed AC? Will you get more with something else? You know, you, will you be able to use electrolytes in this? And the answer is yes. You can use electrolytes to get more performance out of the uh, tubes, out, out of the apparatus, out of every watt hour that comes out of this box. And so, if, so when, when you're measuring the gas, you have a standard um, number of milliliters of gas over time per amp or per amp hour, or however you want to uh, uh, do the math to come up with a unit of measurement. These graduated cylinders in the, um, in, in the Hoffman apparatus is really golden for that. I mean, there's really... 
uh, nothing I could come up with that was homemade that's going to do as good of a job of measuring the two gases coming out of an electrolysis uh, reaction than a Hoffman apparatus. The, the caveat is the electrodes that come with these kits suck, so just get the glass, go down to the Autopot store, get two spark, spark plugs. It's recommended to get the uh, iridium because they're the most uh, corrosion resistant, and go for it and have fun. See what you come up with. Report your findings in the comments, please. And that is it here from the Chicken Kitchen. If you like this video on the Hoffman apparatus, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on our channel, please subscribe. I could just subscribe. And if you got any questions or comments, just drop those in the comments below. And again, thank you uh, to all you my Patreon guys. We want for you, none of this would be happening. So very, very grateful. So until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>